So stale part of lesson one for unit five. And this video will reverse the process we just looked at, where we took uh, mixed radicals, or took radicals and rolled them as mixed radicals. Here we want to go backwards. So in other words, how do we take the work we've done here and come back with the original question? So it says write each as an entire radical. So we have to take the mixed radicals and change them to entire. Well, if you remember the process that had to go through here, so that to get a number on the outside here, the coefficient on the outside, well, we would have had to take the square root of a number and come back to 3. So let's just think uh, backwards here for a minute. So you had some number times 5. But when you've done the square root of this number, you got 3 on the outside. Well, what number do you take square root of and get 3 as an answer? Well, it's 9. Well, let's push this one step back up then. So 9 times 5. Okay, so this involved me noticing that, knowing that this number was going to be a 9. That the square root of some number gives me 3, that number had to be a 9. And then I could finish the step with 9 times 5, 45, and come back with the answer. But let's come up with a more uh, procedure, procedural way of doing this. So let's take our first question again, this one. So we have 3 root... So what you do, you take the coefficient on the outside, and you're going to write that underneath the root side. Now, now 3 times 5. We are taking the square root, so then you square the number. And that's very important. If you take the square root, then you square the number. Squaring 3 gives you 9, and then you multiply to 5, and then you would square root 4 and 5. Okay, next one we'll look at a C. So you can try that one yourself first and pause the video. So we have 8 times the square root of 9. So the process is take the coefficient right underneath the radical sign. It's square root, so we square it, multiply it to 9. We have 64 times 9. And you get 576. So this is an entire radical. We start with a mixed radical. Look here at F. So 3 times cube root of 9. So it's cube root. You take the coefficient on the outside, which is 3, and write it underneath. You do cube root. So that's the power, or the exponent. Power and exponent use of words are interchangeable. They're the same. So 3 cubed, 27. So order of operations is, is important. You can't say 3 times 9 first, OK? I, I want to be clear on that. This wasn't 3 times 9 to give me 27. We've done this part first. 3 cubed, it's just a coincidence that it happens to be 27. And then I multiply. 7 times 9, 243. That's a 4. All right. Uh, try this one. Try K. So 
So we would write cube root 8 is written underneath. So it's 8 cubed times the 3 that's already there. So 8 cubed. 8 times 8 times 8. It's 512. So this should give us 1536. Oops, 36. 